Two Idaho lawmakers from Bannock County are calling it quits after this term. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Tom Blackington. The names of two longtime Eastern Idaho state senators will not be on the ballot coming this November after announcing they will not run for re-election. Our Logan McDougall is following this story for us today. He joins us from our Pocatello newsroom. So, Logan, who do we have not running? Well, Todd, Senator Edgar Malpiai with District 30 and Senator Diane Bilyeu with District 29 will be hanging up their political hats and combined the two have a total of nine terms under their belts. With Senators Diane Bilyeu and Edgar Malpiai deciding to hang up their political hats, both said they're looking forward to spending more time with their families, but also some new blood was needed in the State House. It's been 10 years since I've been in office, and I think that's long enough. I really think my time has, uh, has come, and it's time for uh, others to uh, step up and have the opportunity to, uh, to serve as I have served. Both senators are ardent supporters of education. Idaho State University named their proscenium theater after Senator Bilyeu and her late husband, Chick. Malpi spent 36 years in the education field, with 30 of those spent teaching high school government in Pocatello Chubbuck School District 25. And both see the passage of students come first as a low light during their legislative careers. I was disappointed in the direction that education took to try to replace teachers with computers. And as the two ride off into the political sunset, each has a few things they will miss about the political game. Quite frankly, some people don't like going door to door, but I, I've always enjoyed campaigning, going door to door with people and uh, hearing their views and, and uh, getting acquainted with people. We've covered a lot of ground, and I think the, uh, just the idea of, of working together with, with colleagues, not only within my own uh, political party, but also across the aisle. And I do feel that, that I've had a, a nice working relationship, a healthy respect between I and, and my colleagues. Now, with redistricting, District 30 is now located near Idaho Falls, so the seats up for grabs will be Districts 28 and 29. As of today, no Democrat has filed paperwork in District 28, but Republican Representative Jim Guthrie will be on the ballot. Democratic Representative Roy Lacey has filed the paperwork to run as a senator in District 29, as well as Republican Terry Anderson. Now, the deadline to file with the Secretary of State is March 9th at 5 p.m. Todd? Back to you. All right. Thank you very much. Logan McDougall reporting for us tonight.